Hey Cameron, let's go on a date like we used to before we got married. I feel like we don't spend much time together these days. Go on a date? But I've been busy lately. I've been working a lot. I know, but I want to spend time with you at least on weekends. I want to be with you once in a while, and I want to make the most of our time together. This weekend is tough. I have to help my mom. Do you have to help her so often? I'm sure you don't have to go there this much. Of course I do. She's lonely and alone. I should be there for her. But I want to spend time with you too. We used to date every week before we got married. Let's go see a movie sometime. It's been a while since we've had a chance to go out together. Well, let me think about it. I'm really tired these days and I'm worried about my mom. Are you sure we can't at least go to a movie? I trust you, Cameron, but I wish you'd make time for us once in a while. I miss you. I want you to think about us sometimes. Okay, okay. But I can't make it this weekend, so I'll think about it next week. Zoe, I have sad news. What? Well, I was really looking forward to it, but I'm not going to be able to make our date on Saturday. What? Oh my! I was so excited, I even bought new clothes. What happened? I have to go back to my mom's house this weekend. What? You're going over there again? My mom called me. She asked me to help her with your yard. Also, she needs to clean out the garage. She said the yard is a mess and weeds are growing. On top of that, she just bought some new furniture and I need to help her move it in. Her friends are coming to visit, so I have to help clean up the whole house. You don't have to do that much. Why don't you leave it to a handyman or a contractor? Don't be so cold. I'm sure mom misses me since my dad passed away. I should be there for her as much as possible. I understand that. But can you just leave your wife alone? You've cancelled on me seven times already. Can you think a little more of me too? I'm really sorry. I'll make it up to you next time. I'm going to be late for work again, so you don't have to stay up until I come home and you can go to bed first. I've got a lot of projects piling up lately, and I've been working a lot of overtime. I've got a client presentation coming up, so I've been slaving away every day preparing for it. And my boss has to go on a business trip suddenly. I'm supposed to take over the work for him as well, so I'm sure I'll be home late. I'm sorry for all of this, but I'll make it up to you someday. I promise. Okay, it's work, so I understand. Zoe, can you do me a favor? Can you teach me how to use a computer again when you have time? Actually, I've been using the computer more and more lately, but I'm having a hard time understanding how to use it. In particular, I'm having trouble sending and receiving emails and doing research on the internet. I've always asked Cameron to help me, but I'd like to be able to do it by myself. Besides, I'd like to move forward with the other thing too. I can teach you on Saturday. Cameron said he is going to break his promise to me and going to help you. What? This time he's going to help you clean and tidy up your yard and the house. He is talking nonsense again. I didn't ask for any of that. I wish he'd stop using me as a reason for cancelling a promise with you. I know, right? It's already obvious to me that he's lying. I'm sure he's having an affair. Hey Zoe, I have a question. When in the world are you going to divorce him? To be honest, it's hard for me to pretend that I don't know about his affair. I can't believe that my son, who used to be so faithful, has changed so much. But what hurts me even more is seeing you getting hurt. Oh, I'm not going to let him get away with it. Of course I'm going to divorce him. But only after I see that you get a new job. What? With your husband's inheritance and pension, you could live modestly. It's cool that you want to learn something new and work at that age. I want to support you, Stella. I will teach you how to use a computer. I will do my best so you can get an office job by the end of the year. Thank you so much for helping me. My husband was old-fashioned and didn't allow me to work, but I've always wanted to work. 
I'm the one who wants thank you. I really appreciate you. I'm so grateful for your call, which made me realize that Cameron had been lying to me. If you had not spoken to me then, I might still have been deceived by his lies. I'm glad I took the plunge then and asked you to teach me about computers. I'm happy to help you with anything you need to know about computers. I'm the head of the company's system administration department. I'm a pretty knowledgeable person. I really can rely on you. You know, I've always had a great respect for you, Zoe. I've always admired the way you work so hard on the computer. I've always wanted to work like you. Thank you for saying that. I admire you too for willing to get a job. I can't believe Cameron betrayed such a kind and nice person. He is such a stupid son. I don't know where I raised him wrong. I'll do my best to learn the computer so you can get divorced soon. Sounds great. People can do their best when they have a goal. So can I ask you to come over to my house this weekend? Let's study Excel again. Will do. Oh yes, I'd like to do something for you to show my appreciation. I'll buy that cake you like. There's a new bakery that opened recently, and it has a very good reputation. Thank you very much. Zoe, I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to stay at my mom's again today. She says she's sad sleeping alone. She's been sad about spending the night alone since my dad passed away. She's usually doing her best, but at night she gets lonely. It sounds like she's still having a hard time. Please be there for her as much as you can. Thank you. I'm glad you're such an understanding wife. You're welcome. Besides, I'm having fun over here. You don't have to worry about me at all. What? What are you doing there? I just had friends over for a visit. Oh, I know. If you are staying at Stella's house, can my friends... Can my friends stay here overnight? It's been a while since we've had a drink. Yeah, I don't mind. I think I'll stay at my mom's until the evening tomorrow. Have a good time with your friends. Okay. I wanted to spend some time with you too, but I am worried about my mom. Mom's calling me, so I should get going. If you could let your friends know that I can't make it, that would be great. I'm sure you'll have a great time, so enjoy yourselves. Um, Cameron says he's staying there overnight. I don't know, he's always like this. So, I'm free tonight, so why don't you stay over at my place? Wouldn't it be fun to have a girls' night and chat? It sounds like a lot of fun. You made such fun plans. It's like being a teenager again. I haven't had a girls' night out in years. Great. You can turn your car and come back. I'll lend you pajamas and everything. Thanks. I was feeling sad on the way home because I had such a great time earlier. I'm so glad I'm having a sleepover. I'm so happy too. Actually, I've always wanted to have a sleepover with you. That's very generous of you. I'm really thrilled, Zoe. I'm so happy to have you in my life. Well then, I'll bring you something too. I'll get you a drink on the way back there. Then I'll order a pizza. Can I just order any pizza? Oh dear, what a great idea. I haven't had junk food in decades because my husband didn't like it. The truth is, I love pizza and hamburgers. If that's the case, leave it to me. I'll order all the pizzas I recommend. You're going to order all the pizzas you recommend? I don't know if I can eat them all. What if I couldn't eat all of it? Don't worry about it. You can leave it to me in that case, too. I'm starving right now. Geez, you're always so reliable and great. I'm so looking forward to spending time with you. Tonight is going to be a really nice night. What kind of drink shall I get? I'm so excited. Sorry, Zoe. I won't be home for a while from today. Oh, yeah? Stella's calling you again, right? Just for the weekend this time? Or two weeks? Maybe you'll be at her house for two months? No, I have no idea how long I'll be gone. Huh? I've got a big problem. Mom suddenly collapsed. She won't be home for a while. I know you're probably surprised at the suddenness of it, but she has a heart condition. So I have to rush to the hospital right away. I have to stay with her. 
Wow, sounds like a tough situation. Your reaction is too cold. You're acting like it's somebody else's problem. My mom just collapsed, you know? Normally, I think you'd be more concerned. She's family to you too, and I would have thought you'd be a little more worried. Sorry, your mother collapsed and she has a heart condition. It's a big deal and we should be worried about her. By the way, what caused her to collapse? What? I don't know. I guess her heart stopped a little or something. I see, her heart stopped. You know what? What? I think my heart is stopping too. Is it moving? Is it stopped? Which is it? I think I'm going to collapse too. Huh? Oh well, enough with the joke. I was just messing with you. Cameron, if you're going to lie, make it more believable. What did you say? You said my heart stopped a little and I collapsed. If one's heart stopped, that's the end of it. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on? Is this mom? Hey, why is my mom on Zoe's phone? I'm with Zoe right now. I was just having dinner with her at my house. What? And then I get a text from you saying I've fallen ill. I couldn't help but laugh. No, 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 that's crazy. Why are you and Zoe having dinner together? You guys weren't that close, were you? Actually, we're such good friends. We've even had a girls' night out before. Huh? And this isn't the first time we've had dinner at my house. We probably eat together four times a week now. You see each other more than half a week? I heard that you have been going home very late since the beginning of this year. Zoe said she was tired of having dinner just by herself every night, so I invited her to come over to my place. Since then, she's been coming to my house four times a week, but you haven't noticed. What's going on? When did you two become so close? Don't wives and mother-in-laws usually have some distance there? Some are like that, and some are like us. Anyway, you should come back to my house right now and sign the divorce papers. What? Divorce papers? Wait, wait, wait. I can't even keep up with this. Why are we suddenly talking about divorce? Because she doesn't deserve someone like you. I know all about your lies and cheating, and Zoe and I are good friends. You are going to divorce Zoe. That's all you need to know. I don't get it at all. I don't know what you're talking about. The lies, the cheating. How long has it been going on? How much do you know about it? I'm telling you, I know all of it. Just come over here right now. I'm sure your cheating girlfriend is with you right now. Bring her over too. We're just about to finish dinner. Then we'll talk. Cameron, listen to what I'm going to tell you. I've filed the divorce papers. It won't be official until tomorrow, but it's done. So this is the end of our relationship. What? You already did it. I've been thinking. How much you've hurt me. How much you've lied to me. I couldn't take it anymore. I think this is the best way for me. Well then, take care. Well, wait. Um, when in the world did you know about my affair? Since when have you been preparing for a divorce? Well, I just explained it to you. I've known about your affair for a year. Really? But it wasn't until this year that I became convinced of the affair. Stella contacted me and asked me to teach her how to use her computer. We started communicating from there, and I realized you were lying. Then you and Mom have been aware of my lies all along? And yet you pretended you didn't know? How long have you been doing this? How long have you been laughing at me and making fun of me? I can't believe that you guys were working together to betray me. I'm shocked that it was all a lie. Huh? You're the worst, aren't you? Don't play the victim. You really are a jerk. You're the one who's jerk here. I trusted you. I believed you were a kind man who cared for your mother who lived alone. That's why I forgave you no matter how many times you canceled our date. You betrayed me like that and cheated on me. So don't play the victim. Well, uh, that's... And you even used your mother to cover up your affair. You're so rude to me and to Stella. You're disgusting. How can you blame us for that? Well... The divorce is final. And you're going to pay alimony. You're going to have to take full responsibility for cheating on me. You and your cheating girlfriend better be ready. Sorry.
Zoe, guess what? I just got a call from the company I had a job interview with. Thanks to you, I've been hired as a part-time office worker. I can use Excel, and the hourly rate is really good. Congratulations! I thought for sure you were going to get the job, and I'm so happy for you. I've been a stay-at-home mom just taking advantage of my husband for so long. I'm so happy that from now on I'll be able to earn money on my own. I didn't realize how great and wonderful it is to work with your own hands and earn money. I never thought this day would come. I can do what I want with my income and support myself. I am unbelievably happy. As long as you can use a computer, you can work no matter what your age or physical condition. It may be a little difficult at first, but once you get used to it, you may want to look for a job where you can work from home. Recently, remote work is on the rise, and there are many jobs that can be done from home. For example, data entry, online support, freelance work, etc. There are so many options out there. That's great, but first I need to sell the house. I'm one step closer to my dream. What? You're selling your house? That's a big decision. It's a place you've always cherished. I'm sure a lot of thought went into that decision. Why did you decide to sell it? I've been thinking about it ever since my husband passed away. I feel lonely living alone in a big house. I was thinking of moving to an apartment when I got a job. I wanted to live in a place that I could decorate to my taste. That's a wonderful dream. Ah, uh, how about my apartment then? There was a vacancy the other day. What, in your apartment? Your apartment is in a convenient location and has great surroundings. There's a shopping mall and a park nearby, and transportation is great, right? Besides, I feel safer with you nearby. And if something goes wrong, I can always go to you for help. I'm really happy to live in such an ideal place. It's very convenient being so close to the station. The room that became available is on the lower third floor, so the rent is quite cheap. Best of all, I'm in the same apartment. You can always come over on your days off. Sounds wonderful. I've decided to sign the contract already. Yeah. But are you sure you want to do this? You divorced Cameron. I'm not your mother-in-law anymore. You don't have to be this nice to just an old lady. What are you saying? I already consider you a friend, Stella. So please continue to be friends with me. I'm so happy I'm crying. I want to continue to be friends with you too, Zoe. If you want, you can come over for dinner every day. Thank you so much. I'll help you move in any time, so please feel free to call me. Well then, first of all, I have to get ready for the sale as soon as possible. I've got a job lined up, so I'll be busy. Ah, that's right. Can you keep Cameron in the dark about the sale of my house and where I'm moving to? Okay, but are you sure you don't want me to tell him about it? I don't even want anything to do with that stupid son anymore. Really, he has let me down. I trusted him so much and raised him to be a decent man, and he betrayed you and me like this. Just thinking about it makes me angry. I don't want anything to do with that boy anymore, and if I could, I'd cut him off completely. So I'm thinking I'm just going to leave him. Understood. I will do my best to help you start a new life. Don't worry about it. Zoe, I'm in trouble. Do you know where my mom is? I tried to go back to her house, but to my surprise, the house had been sold before I knew it. I asked all my relatives and friends, and they all say they don't know where my mom is. I thought maybe you might know something. Cameron, I'm sorry but I have no idea where your mother is. I know you're in trouble, but I can't help you. You and mom always seem to get along so well. You said you spent time together even when I wasn't around. You know each other well, don't you? You really know where she is, don't you? I'm begging you. Don't lie to me and tell me. I can't tell you what I don't know. No matter how well we know each other, I never heard anything about her new whereabouts. I have no idea where she went. Oh no, then where the hell did my mom go? The word is out about the divorce, and everyone is cold to me. You know, 
What kind of son sends his mother to the hospital as an excuse for cheating on his wife? No wonder everyone despises you. I really don't know what to do. If I don't have home, where am I going to live? You should just go out and live on your own. Just rent an apartment or something. Oh, that's right. You were fired because you were caught cheating on me, weren't you? There's surprisingly few places that lend an apartment to unemployed people. Did you know I was fired? I heard about it. And I heard that the girl you were cheating on me dumped you. I heard she switched to a younger guy who has more money. You know all that stuff? She's a terrible woman to dump you after giving all the money you had. And what's more, I took almost all of your remaining money with property division and alimony. No job, no money, no home. You're going to have a tough life from now on. If you know that much, please tell me where my mother is. I'm not going to ask you to get back together, so at least tell me where she is. First of all, I want to live with my mother and get my life back on track. Don't you think about her feelings a little? She sold her house without telling you anything, right? Why can't you understand that she doesn't want to see her stupid son's face anymore? Oh, no. You should at least try to start your life over by yourself. You brought this on yourself. Don't cause any more trouble for her. Zoe, I beg you, please reconsider. I want to tell her how much I regret. Regret? What are you talking about now? Don't tell me you've forgotten what you've done. I'm really sorry. I'm ashamed of myself for doing such a stupid thing as cheating on you. I'm so sorry that I hurt you so much. So please, will you give me another chance? A chance? How many times have I been betrayed by you? I'm not stupid enough to be fooled by those words anymore. Zoe, I'm really going to change. I'll sort things out with my mother and I'll think about my life with you too. Enough. I don't believe a word you say anymore. It's over. Please, we used to be married, so help me out. You are persistent. It's too late. I have moved on with my own life already. Please do not contact me or Stella anymore. If you ever contact me, I will consider legal action. Oh no, my life is over. After that, Cameron's lies and cheating came to light, and his life went to the bottom. He lost his job, his girlfriend dumped him, and all that was left was a small savings and a life of loneliness. He had to rent a small apartment by himself. He has no job, and it is hard for him to pay the rent, so he has to work part-time to make ends meet. It seems that he is living in a harsh reality, far from the glamorous life he used to lead. On the other hand, Stella has acquired computer skills and has been hired as a part-time office worker. Her efforts are truly amazing. She is now completely accustomed to her job and feels the joy of earning money on her own. Now that she has moved into my apartment, we are neighbors and support each other. As for me, my work is going well and I'm spending quality time with Stella. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.